Hello! We're so excited to see you. Hello, welcome back. Hello, welcome back. We are here because we're in full swing of Tonnerfest, of course, and I am here with our wonderful Christopher Johnson, Stanley, who is filming, uh, Coco Melon, who is watching <laughs> Holland Diane right now, and we are doing an unboxing because we know that you have been very antsy to see what the produced dolls looked like versus the samples, which yeah. are the photos that you've seen. Christopher, we have seen them, we have opened them. What is your initial take overall of the quality of the production dolls versus the samples? I would say for what I've seen so far as I've been an employee here, this is the most um, consistent with what you've seen so far. So like, this has given us no surprises. They look the way that you've seen them so far, but just to ease your nerves, we're going to prove that to you now with opening them on camera so you can see sort of what they would look like fresh out of the box when they arrive at your doorstep very soon. Yes. So of course, when you, pr when you get a sample and then when you produce dolls, Sometimes the produced doll doesn't look like the sample exactly. Usually it's very similar. Uh-oh. Coco, um, Coco Melon failed us. Coco Melon failed us. It's all right, Stanley, show them. <laughs> Hi, honey. Show them. Welcome back. Hi, honey. Hi, Booger. All right, well, our, our sweet little Holly hey. is going to be here for our filming, too. So let's go ahead and um, get into it. These are in no particular order. Christopher's going to start with Life's a Beach 3. Uh, we're each going to open them and um, show you. So, And these have not been curated beforehand. We did open the tape on that one. But most of them are. Uh, I going literally, in the box. like two minutes ago, yeah. just ran to grab these. So these are fresh out of our piles that you will see photos of later. Uh, Life's a Beach 3. 3. Um, this is fresh out of the box. So you see that she's got a new color of swimsuit, a new color of lip, a new color of hair. This is the redhead version, and she's got some eyelashes there. Um, and she comes with painted finger and toenails. And then she also has your classic uh, belt and uh, a pump shoe. Um, and then she's got her wrist tag and her journal entry. And uh, that's what she looks like fresh out of the box. That's good. So as you can see, we have some these ridiculously large scissors, and we are opening the dolls as we go. So here is Chasing Rainbows. We have the journal entries for these dolls, and you can read the entire journal story, but she looks marvelous. She, uh, her makeup is just wonderful, and I love how she has a hint of eyeshadow, the applied lashes. Um, everything about this doll is just shimmering and rainbow and fabulous. She reminds me of a disco. Um, her hair is just wonderful. It's it's not a natural shade of red, but it's not an unnatural shade. Of red. It's right you know in between. I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. It's like when you try to like dye your hair with Kool Aid. It's not aggressive, but you dyed it. You know. She's I don't know if you off. saw these in the photos, but look at these. These are what I feel is an upgraded shoe for a basic doll. They are, have this wonderful um, glitter pattern, even on the sole yeah. and on the heels. Yeah, they're really really fun. This is Life's a Beach 2, okay, fresh out of the box. And she's got, actually, yeah, would you bring her over here too? So we've got yeah, two and three. Eyes. Um, different shade of hair. Now this wig, I believe, is still lighter than the previous one. So Nima came with, like, jet black hair before. This is a dark brown, um, but it's still lighter than what you know before. Uh, different from the red. Um, I believe the eye makeup looks to be the same, but the lip, the lip I think might be the same too. Um, it looks the same to me. It is funny how big of a difference it feels like it makes with just a change of hair color. Mm -hmm. um, it looks different, but it is the same color. Um, the yellow I think is such a nice touch on her. Again, painted toenails and fingernails and her uh, shoes and her stand and her poem. Her on Nima is absolutely wonderful. I'm not going to take her out because these dolls, we are going to sell dolldom photography's photos the hair the the flipping of the hair in the Nima photos is just i love it it is so 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 good our holland diane oh, no. is going to go to her office with her stanley and i will be taking over say bye say bye bye, bye she bye. has her lunch all over her shirt which mm, happens, macaroni and cheese. happens when you enjoy your lunch she had mac and cheese today <laughs> Let's go play. Okay, sister. We're getting into the fun stuff now, you guys. I, we've been enjoying ourselves. This is where things get spicy. This is where <laughs> things get exciting. Um, I am biased. I think this one is my favorite. Um, but just so you can see again, fresh out of the box. Um, have we even shown this yet so far? I mean, it's the same box you're familiar with, but just so you can, you know, get reacquainted. Yeah, Maybe this beautiful. is your very first Ella and Wild. Um, it's a really, really nice, very detailed box. And it's the classic box. It's yeah. the box that... It's been on the dolls for decades, which we love. Forever and ever. OK, 
Okay, so we've got Bright Ideas. Uh, again, lashes, red lips, blue eyes, beautiful. Um, hair looks impeccable. We've got the flower detail on the uh, sort of collar there. And uh, red thigh-high boots, her uh, wrist tag, painted finger and toenails, stand, and her poem. She looks great. Yeah, she really does. The blue eyes are just so striking with the black hair and yeah. the red lip. I don't know how that translates on camera, but in person, her eyes are piercing. They are so beautiful. Yeah. No, she's great out of box. Yeah. A little bit of blush, too. Nice little rosy cheeks. We have, let's see, we have not done Artful Ease. But we're about to. Okay. I love these crazy <laughs> scissors. These are fabric scissors. They make me feel alive. <laughs> Artful Ease is a favorite among a lot of us. She has a wonderful haircut, and I love the, like, very earth tone scale of her ensemble. Um, Elowen is usually very vibrant and very eccentric. Uh, eccentric. Um, and she is, she's wonderful. Um, a little bit like Indiana Jones, you know? Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, Indiana Jones, but, like, uh, high fashion. Yeah. Um... Nice little rooted haircut. We've got the uh, matching skirt and jacket, uh, sweater. This comes with a belt, uh, shoes, bucket hat, uh, wrist tag, and her poem as well. Lovely. Yeah, and those lashes look wonderful. I love that the, the makeup is sort of like a plum floral sort of scale for color. Um, just very pretty, very floral. And very much like the photos. So this yeah. is, it. believe me, it's such a relief. And actually, I didn't start posting the photos until we got these because I have learned. <laughs> I have learned. Sometimes we get surprises, and then sometimes yeah. we get surprises we don't want. And this time you got uh, everything. It looks really, really good. Yeah. No, and, and in manufacturing, it's just very normal. And we did have that one time that the... We had hair completely different, which most of the collectors just loved. I but love some that didn't. hair. That legendary, insane red yeah, hair. It was like an afro. It was like... Inflammatory opinion. I love that hair. But I loved it, too. That surprises nobody, I'm sure. <laughs> it was good. Okay, who's this? This is our, last but not least, Romantic Possibilities. Oh, yes. This is my little oh, blue my fairy. My little a glazed donut, Ellen Wild. She is so... <laughs> she is radiant. Ta-da! Look at that. Yeah, she looks really, really good. Now, one of our customers asked, she thought it had a greasy face. But no, <laughs> this is not, No, it's, this is intentional luminosity. It's not a sort of uh, lubricant, if you will. It's uh, a frost that she is sprayed yeah. with. She just looks, she, it's like a pearlescent glow. Like, she just right. looks really, really good. Uh, not a hair out of place. She's got beautiful lashes, uh, nice sort of... Uh, warm rose lip color, a really pretty sort of cloud-like uh, dress on, really flouncy, very, very light and, and pretty. She comes with a beaded necklace, uh, shoes, uh, stand, wrist tag, poem. And uh, you're about to see me completely deconstruct this dress altogether. She's wonderful. I love her. Yeah, and in I fact, love the rooted hair. Right, and I, I first fell in love with the other two before her. Like, I was so captivated by Artful Ease and Bright Ideas that I almost sort of... I didn't give her the attention she deserved in the beginning, and she really is remarkable. Yeah. Um, this doll, especially with that, that frosted highlighter, is so captivating. Really, really dreamy. So, so, so good. Very dream. It's very dreamy right now. Our lighting is... Oh, there's Stanley. What's sister doing? Oh, uh, sitting on a rocker watching. Sitting on her rocker? Eating a cracker. Eating. And I'm looking for her water. Oh, he's looking for her water. Oh, I just saw that somewhere. Not her. So, that, th this is fun. This I had fun. Christopher, did you have fun? Well, of course I had fun. But the fun's only getting started. The fun's only getting started. So in our next video, you are taking a deep dive into styling because all day Christopher has been working with the dolls out of box and coming up with new looks, new ways for you to style them, just as they come in the box and to give them new looks. So yeah. that was fun. When he took out the scissors and was like <laughs> cutting things up and I'm like, uh, I didn't look because I fully trust him. And I think you're really gonna love it. So stay tuned. That video is on our schedule here at Tonner Fest. And if you haven't registered, register right now so that you can get in on the rest of the fun. What are you waiting on? Get into it. Get into it. I'll see you guys there. Bye.